Lamb of our King. We are now going back to the Vortex Club party. Which means I am going to warn you for those who might experience seizures. Because there were a lot of flashing lights. I don't know what lies ahead. And we found it. Well, there we go. Action. Into the past we go, one last time. Let's hopefully, we're hopefully going to fix this now. We got no time for this shit. Come on, Max. Ugh. Chloe. Jesus, dude, what is up with you? I'm just glad we're here together. I guess you need to talk. No worries. It's all good. I'm glad you're with me too. What's going on, Max? We have to find Nathan right now. He's gonna sorry, be Warren. Sorry, Warren. to Rachel. Let's go, now. Chloe, wait, listen. I can walk and listen, okay? Stop and listen for once. Fine, Max. I'm yeah, you listening. need to hear this. Chloe, you can't go in that party. You're going to, you're gonna die if you do. You used your powers, right? And you fucked around with time and I died. Not like that. You're supposed to back me up, so there's no way that punk-ass bitch Nathan Prescott is taking me down. You're right, he won't. Mark Jefferson killed you. And others. Uh -huh. Jefferson, the art teacher? That's bullshit! Nathan is the fucking serial killer! We saw the proof! Now excuse me, I'm going to that party to make sure he never hurts anybody again. Are you coming? Nathan is dead. Nathan is dead, and you're in danger. That fucker is already dead? How do you know that? Because I was there. Will you please tell me exactly what happened? Please. Jefferson is a psychopath. Mark Jefferson turned out to be a psychopath. Okay, Max. Let's go in there as a team and take his ass out right now. Chloe. Jefferson drugged and kidnapped me. I was tied up in his bunker. You have no idea what hell I went through to get back here. But I couldn't let you die. You brought me back here and I can't lose you again. I won't. Um, Max, I'm, I'm so sorry. I was the one who dragged you into all this shit. Nobody, especially you, should have to go through that. I. Now we have to stop Jefferson with one bullet. No, not this way. Chloe, I, I can't keep fixing everything if all I'm gonna do is just break it over and over again. <coughs> Butterfly I effect. I know how this <coughs> gonna turn out, and I'm afraid I'm fucking up all these alternate realities. Wait, alternate realities? What do you mean, Max? What did you do? I fucked up, that's what I did. I fucked up, Chloe. I wanted to make things right, but everything turned out wrong. Max, what the hell are you talking about? I, I was able to go back in time to the last day William was alive. I stopped him from leaving, but... But you ended up in a car crash instead. You saw my dad again? You... You were completely paralyzed. And... It, you, you were in pain, you were slowly dying, and you you asked me to end your life. It's actually kind of hard to watch. For you, I, I didn't want you to suffer in any other timeline or reality. I, I, I couldn't bear the thought of you in any more pain. God, Max. That must have been... It must have been awful for you. I'm, I'm so sorry I had to ask you that. It was worse for you. But I had no idea what would happen. And as usual, I messed everything up. And I never want to hurt you. Ever. You 
have to believe me. I do. Of course I do. Do you think I would even know how to handle that situation? Nobody would. The important thing is that we're together again. You're right. That's that's why you should come with me, so we can stay together and stay alive. I hear you, Max, but do you think we should let Jefferson get away with torture and murder? Of course not. If we tell David, he'll believe us and he can actually stop him. Right? I don't get it. Why do you trust him after you totally reamed him the other day? He's not even at our house anymore. David was ahead of us in the whole thing. David was already investigating Jefferson. He was way ahead of us. Except that he was actually investigating everybody, Max. Including your friend Kate. Sorry, but I still don't trust him. It's up to us, Max. No! Listen to me! Wait, Chloe! Chloe! Oh, you almost had her, Max! Obviously, we gotta rewind. Please don't tell me we're gonna have to go through that whole long conversation again. Excuse me, I'm going to that party to make sure he never hurts anybody again. Are you coming? Nathan is dead already. Nathan is dead, and you're in danger. That fucker is already dead? We're gonna, we're gonna skip ahead. Because I was there. Will you please tell me exactly what happened? Please. Jefferson is a psycho. Mark Jefferson. Skip. Okay, Max. Let's go in there as a team and take his ass out right now. Don't leave me. Chloe! I should never have run away from you like I did when we left Arcadia Bay. I know I hurt you. All I ever wanted was to make it up to you. Please don't run away from me. Max, I'm not running from you. This is when I need you the most. This is how to make everything up to me. With your power and my gun, nothing in the universe can stop us now, Max. No, not this way. Chloe, I I can't keep fixing everything. Skip ahead. Alternate realities? What do you mean, Max? What did you do? Terrible choice. Chloe, I'm... I'm gonna tell you the truth, no matter what. I changed your past, and I... I, I had to make a terrible choice, and I, I... Max, please tell me. I won't be mad at you. I was able to go back in time to the last day William was alive. I stopped him from leaving, but... But you ended up in a car crash instead. You saw my dad again? You... You were completely paralyzed. And... You, you were in pain, you were slowly dying, and you you asked me to end your life. I did. For you, I, I didn't want you to suffer in any other timeline or reality. I, I, I couldn't bear the thought of you in any more pain. God, Max. We're, that we're must have been- skip a little bit. It was worse for you, but I had no idea what would happen, and as usual, I messed everything up, and I never want to hurt you, ever. You have to believe me. Of course I do. Do you think I would even know Skip how- a little bit further. You're right. That's, that's why you should come with me, so we- I hear you, Max, but- do you think we should let Jefferson get away with torture and murder? Of course not. If we tell David, he'll believe us and he can actually stop him. Right? I don't get it. Why do you trust him after you totally reamed him the other day? He's not even at our house anymore. David actually saved me. Chloe, David saved me from Jefferson. If he didn't track down the dark room, I'd be dead right now. Max, I had no clue. I should have been the one to save you, but I'm so grateful David was there. So what's your plan? We tell him everything, including that Victoria is in danger. Okay. You've 
I've been through so much. I, I believe you, Max. After all, I'm still your faithful companion. Yes, you are. So listen, in a few minutes, I won't know any of this happened. Nothing. We absolutely have to stay in your room and do nothing. Then we explain everything to David, and we finally let him do his job. You'll have to tell me exactly what I did and said just now. Just explain that I traveled through time using the photo. Will you believe me? I'll always believe you, Chloe. Okay. This means that the whole dark room sequence now has never happened. The police arrive with David Madsen. The whole situation has changed. And oh, Chloe! I see that the real Max is back. So how was your time trip, dude? Shut up! Oh, you're alive! You're alive! Oh, both of us! I did so much to bring you back, Chloe. It worked, it actually worked. And there's the lighthouse off in the distance. It looks like even fate doesn't want us apart. And we traveled through multiple realities just to save my ungrateful ass over and over. And I hope it was worth it. But I don't blame you for wanting me out of your life. Oh, don't, don't do this, Chloe, man. Come on. I'm the official drama king and queen of Arcadia Bay. Wow. Just look at what my powers have caused in just a short time. I'm nobody. You're Max fucking Caulfield, time warrior. Even if you weren't, you're kind and caring. Nobody could have a better best friend. Nobody. You didn't ask for any of this to happen, but it did. You need to accept how awesome you are. Maybe I willed it subconsciously or something. I always wanted my life to be special and adventure, but not without you. And it, it didn't happen until I moved back here. So without you, my powers wouldn't even exist. And for whatever scientific, mystical reason that we'll obviously never figure out, we were meant to be together at this exact moment in history. I have to think that Rachel was somewhere behind the scenes. Fighting for justice. Indeed. I'd like to think that too. We all owe Rachel Amber. Now tell me everything that happened. You you remember, right? Well, we we left the party and made sure Jefferson couldn't find us. For once I was glad I lived in an actual fortress. Then the storm got hella crazy, and, and you said we would be safe at the lighthouse. Chloe, look! The storm is getting bigger now. It's coming closer. Ugh. I can't even believe this is real. This is happening because of me. Stop it. Stop beating yourself up, okay? We've both paid our dues already. Amen to that. Oh my god, look at that. Look at that monster. Who knows? This could be Rachel's revenge. Our revenge. The lighthouse is out of the way of the tornado. Come on. Chloe... I've got your back, Max. How beautiful is that? Whoa. What the mother of Hitchcock famously called film Little Pieces of Time. I I'm back in class. As he what the hell? Us. These pieces of time can frame us in our glory and our I have sorrow. to listen to this Jefferson light, lecture again. This color, might be hell. Might be. Now. Can you give me an example of a photographer okay, who perfectly this captured is messed the condition in black and white? Am I stuck in a time? It certainly looks that way. Bueller. Diane Arbus. Be calm and there you go, don't Victoria. freak out. Why Arbus? Yet. Because of her images of hopeless faces, you feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as tortured, right? And frankly, it's bullshit. Shh, 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 shh. Wait, Keep it. what's going on? Seriously, Nobody even cares. I can frame any one of you in a dark corner. What the? In a moment of desperation. It looks like blood. Everybody's gone now. Have I 
totally fucked up time? This doesn't make sense. Not yet, you bastard. Uh... What the hell? You didn't die, Kate. You're alive. What the fuck is going on? Rachel didn't deserve any of this. Oh no. I see you what the? Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. I just wanted to know if you'd like to spend the rest of your life in my dark room. Your purity inspires me so much, and we could be so happy together. Who needs selfies when I can give you portraiture? There's no way I'm saying that. No way. Ah. Uh... What? My selfies are shit. I need to be framed by a real artist. I'm just a poser. Yes. You will be posing. For me. There's so many angles I want to expose you with to the world. I hope you don't mind needles or duct tape. This is seriously getting... This can't be real. <laughs> I don't believe it. I'm not going to take the bait. I'm not. This Max Cop little loser. Does she hurt everybody she helps? Yes. Everyday Zeros photo contest. 2013. Max has already won because she has already lost. So don't bother to enter. What in the... Mother... God is going on here. I almost don't want to open the door. Of course, though. We are going to be walking down the hallway. That is now candle lit. <laughs> Wait. We're in the girl's dorm. This isn't What the f Hey Kate. Max, why did you stop me from jumping? What kind of friend are you? Why in the hell? You never understood me. Or what happened to me. Now my family will never leave me alone. And that means I'll always be alone. Thanks to you. Kate, that's not true. I've always been your friend. Really now? Do I dare open the doors? Ah. Uh. Really? What in the...
Not the best time for a prank. He's okay, this would be Max's room. Which is apparently also the wrong answer. Okay. Try two twenty three. Nothing. Drum roll, please. I present the spare keys to black. This hall never ends. I, I better find something. Okay, we got a key. Okay, the keys for room 218. So, I want to take that as a clue that we're looking for room 218. 219. 218. Okay, now I'm dressed in Rachel Amber's clothes again. Rachel Amber. She was my angel. After my dad died, you moved. I felt abandoned. Rachel saved my life. So, Rachel took my place. I'm glad she was there for you. Six months ago, she just... Try Max's room again. That alarmed. Without me. How do you know she disappeared? Maybe she wanted to start a totally new life. Unlike you, she would have told me, okay? Now this is seriously starting to creep me the fuck out. Wait a minute. I'm now Victoria. I know this is an awful day. You can talk to me anytime, Mr. Jefferson. Uh, we go to Victoria's room then. I'm sorry you're a but I'm sure she had Well, Max Caulfield, I could always choose to let you in the vortex. Victoria Chase rules. Victoria equals skank. Maybe we can wash the skank off. Two seventeen. You might as well choose me. Otherwise, I might have to tell people you offered to choose my photo for favors. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Yeah, I don't really see a pattern or anything to go by here. Victoria's room has to be nearby. Victoria's room was 221. So we're going to walk down there. 222. 221. I almost don't want to know what's about to happen. But okay, we're... For Max again. And now the hallways are covered in photographs instead of insulting Victoria. Look at me and Max selfie with a uh, pile of shit.
I don't. I'm kind of at a loss for words for what is, what is actually happening plotline wise. Two nineteen was Max's room. <laughs> Now, we're literally watching the hallway scene from the beginning of the game, going in reverse. Whoa. There's Brooke. Well, like the... Everything's backwards. And there's the dough going into the girl's bathroom. Don't try to hide, Max! Get over here! Let me capture you! Uh. Jefferson is coming after me again. Max! No. You used to be so pure, so innocent. Now, you have to die. Please understand, Max. The only place I can be my selfie is in the dark room. I can't believe you let that hillbilly murder me in cold blood. Maybe I'll be safe in the lighthouse. What? And maybe I'll wake up. Your spark, Max. I thought I could be your professor for life. Max. I better rewind right now. Hey. I realize now you'll never be an artist, much less a photographer. Come here, Max. Class is dismissed. I miss those days when you looked at me in class with those wide eyes. I want to be your professor again. I can teach you so much. Uh. Max, remember what John Lennon said. Happiness is a warm... This is seriously freaky as fuck. ...that I'm dead. Look into the lens, Max. Turn right. Now left. Show me the love. And the hate. Good evening, Blackwell. This is Principal Wells. And I'm here to drop the mic on Max Caulfield. Attention, Max. Attention, Max. Attention. I regret to announce that one of your fellow classmates, Maxine Caulfield, has died under tragic circumstances that I promise to investigate after I get my drink on. Wow. Max. 
where are you? Max, come out to play. Come out to play! Is that... Warren? Hey, babe, babe! Who wants to go, ape? Go, ape, go, ape, babe, babe! Yeah, that's definitely Warren. Miss Price can't just show you up at Blackwell wheels, in a Max? wheelchair and think we're Get going to car. accommodate her every whim. Get in the car! Come over here, young Max. You're my son. I wish I could press a button and blow this whole fucking school up. You thought I was harassing Kate, but I was helping her! What the hell did you do for her? The squirrels hate you. If I found out who went through my files, how sick David Madsen. You're such a hypocrite. Only a feminazi who try to take on a press card, huh? Black Damn it, Max! Wake up! Hey! Get over here! Stop, Max! I wonder how we'll get around this. Beat you up! Admit it, Come Max! On. Stop! Max? The hell? Max, you're way more disturbed hey, and Max. dangerous than me. Please, come here. Now we're in the junkyard. Your bony ass over it. I'm come back. But you open, freak. I know you're dying for it. Oh, Max! I know you're dying. No. Bottles. This might be hell. Those were my fucking bees! Rachel Just like her last name, I can finally see right How can I get to heaven? Max! Hey. Those were my fucking bees! <laughs> they get with the fucking beans. Just like her last name, I can finally see How right can I get to heaven and when you keep cold. putting me through hell? You will be my greatest fortune. Me and Rachel are floating down here in the sewer. Come on down. If only you could have seen Rachel. My blood spattered angel. Oh man, you should have heard Chloe smack talk you. It was brutal. Max. But of course, Rachel I see what she's gave great headshots. She gave great. Stop! God damn it. There's got to be a way through this shit. Hey, Max. Should have heard Chloe smack talk you. Stop, Max! Rachel Doug. Rachel Give the fucking beans, people. Just like her last name. I can finally see right now. Max, sit down. You're taking a time out no matter what. If this is my nightmare, let me have one sanctuary. Oh. Man, this is intense. Of course, this is where Chloe and Rachel used to hide from the world. But I can't hide for long. Whatever reality I'm in feels like a bad dream. Am I just not learning my lesson? Maybe your real lesson is to get out of this place. Just don't be afraid, Max. Let them be afraid of you. We can do this. I'm dead. Oh, no. 
Well, these ones aren't too hard to find. It's time for you to die too, skank. Hey, Max, do you want to say hello to Rachel? Max, you need to get high like Rachel. Want some drugs? How can I get to heaven when you keep oh, putting me when did me I get bad heaven? bottle karma? Looks like there's still bottles to find. <sighs> Joy. There's the lighthouse. And the... Apparently I gotta go back into this shit. Come on, girly. And find more bottles. Oh, Rachel, there's one. Get on Motherfucker. Back up. Gotcha. Back your ass up, too. Up off me and I'm losing bottles. Psst. Just because I'm mentally ill doesn't mean I deserve to die, Max. Holy fucking shit, Max. That Max. was hilarious. Max. You guys dug up Rachel's body. There it is, the bottle. Don't you dare run away. Oh, Max! Oh, Max. Oh, come on, let me take the bottle. Please let that be the last one. Max! Max! Dug up Rachel's body. Comedy, gold, genius, genius, genius. Hey! Hey! Let me go. Got shit to do here. Trying to fix the timeline. Put things the way they're supposed to be. And we'll go ahead and rewind you because I can see you're already being a douche. Want to get in my goddamn way. But of course, I see what she's talking about now. I need proof that bottles were out to get me, just in case. Maybe you be a. What the? That don't make any sense. There's the snow, f we have snow falling. I guess we are now in Chloe's snow globe. Don't you dare question the chef. Right, like you're the real cook here? I am, when your mom's away. Uh, know that. Now we're back at the day William died. Sitting in the damn snow globe, apparently. Hello? Hey, honey. Just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work at the two wins. Where's Max? What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Love you. Or oh, you thought you'd be there shortly. Excuse me, ladies. I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She don't have many bags of delicious grub for us you to feast You are ridiculous. Upon. You'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund. 
keys, please. Wow. Shit, where are those keys? Another dollar for the swear jar! You're bankrupting me! Aha! Uh -huh. You can't hide from me forever. Now lock up after I leave. Play nice. Try not to destroy too much of the house. And no Chloe and Max wine tasting session. Do I dare answer my phone? Oh wow, there's like text messages from everybody. Even the dog. Max, we have a surveillance video of you overdosing Chloe. You cannot escape now. There is no reality where you can hide now. Don't you dare underestimate me, you hear? Hey Max, would you say hi to Chloe and Joyce? Don't forget to remind them that you let me die. Good evening, young Max. The squirrels talk to me, but how can you? Samuel has no phone. <laughs> That's almost comedic. Hi, Max. Rachel Amber here. Just wanted to introduce myself. I'll be seeing you soon. Real soon. That's kind of foreboding. Pompadou. Bitch, you're not messing with Frank. Or me. You got a snack? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Nathan. Max, I loved your photo shoot with Jefferson. He absolutely captured you. If you want to hang out and... If you want, we can hang out and get high. And I guess with the dissolve effect, we are out of here. How long will this nightmare go on? Now we're back in the dark room. I think you'd be perfect for my new photo series on Retro Grunge. You have the same qualities that I loved in Rachel Amber, but not Max. Max is a fucking child. Oh Christ, I know. And she never shuts up, does she? I'm so over her hipster bullshit. I think everyone at Blackwell is over Max. Let's prove it. Holy shit, Warren. Max is trying to play us both. What? Guess she's not as innocent as she acts. Not when she's trying to hook up with both of us. I only want to go ape with you, Chloe. Come here. What? God damn, you are a sexy bitch. Why hang out with Max, huh? Boredom. Plus, she's like my personal puppet. I hear that. Do you... Want a party? I got a drugstore in my room. Oh shit. Look at Max spying on us. Take a fucking picture, bitch. Or take a selfie. Uh. See, this is how you bust a move, Max. No mosh pit for you, shaka bra. Damn, Victoria. You're a real woman. Not a little girl like Max. I fucking love your tats, Chloe. You're so hot. I can't argue with that. This is still kind of fucked up. I can't believe it took us so long to hook up. Why did you get rewind powers? You don't even know how to use them. Rachel's dead and you're still alive. Life is so not fair. I wish you would have never <laughs> I thought they were going to say it. You're the real storm. Okay, I'm back in control now. I'm in what looks to be a mixture of Blackwell's Academy's bathroom, which now has a keypad to get out. I'll be so grateful if this is the last digicode. Okay, it's a four digit code. Great, numbers are all over the place. How will I find the right code? Uh, yeah. I...
Can I like phone a friend or use a like some kind of lifeline? <laughs> Cause oh my god. Seven. These uh, numbers here, they're on different colored tiles than the rest of the room. Seven, four, zero, What? Now, why doesn't the mirror reflect any of the numbers? Zero three one one. It's there in the mirror. One one. Sweet. Don't kill us, Max. I guess I'll never dance again, Max. Right when I was about to start a new life in California. I can't believe you kissed me. Now you're going so to So you kill me, me, and now, all of my customers? I can't believe wrong, you kissed me. Max? Now you're going to kill me? Honey, I always thought of you like a daughter. And now you're gonna take me away from my family. Breaker, breaker. Why would you Thanks do that? Thanks for saving that? me. Max, Carrying the load, good buddy. You're exactly That's the kind of soldier I'd want by my side in a war. Son of a bitch, this is gonna hurt. Breaker, breaker. Thanks for saving me and carrying the load, good buddy. That's a big 10 4. Killing me is so not cool. Wow, Max. Right when I finally I find know a I haven't chick been to date, the best you have to kill to us you. off. I guess my husband knew this, this, this is literally the entire cast of characters in a single room. Are you seeing this? Even if I'm dead, how can you let all these other people get wiped out? Please, Max, don't, don't kill that. me so we can finally have our tea session. Who... Who are you? Holy shit, are you cereal? I'm you, dumbass. Or I'm one of many Maxes you've left behind. Can you get me out of here? Oh, so you want help? <laughs> Thought you could control everybody and everything, huh? Twist time around your fingers? I tried to help. I tried to help. I only wanted to do the right thing. No, you only wanted to be popular. And once you got these amazing powers, your big plan was to trick people into thinking you give a rat's ass. I do care, though. I do care. That's why I was trying to make friends. By telling people what they want to hear? You were just looking for a shortcut because you can't make friends on your own. That's not true. I have great friends and I've used my powers for good. Please stop playing innocent. You're a goddamn hypocrite. You've left a trail of death and suffering behind you. That was not my fault, you son of a bitch. Don't you dare talk about our mom that way. <laughs> and what about Frank? That bullet in him wasn't your fault? Wait, wait, let me guess. You fucked up time and space for your precious punk Chloe? <laughs> you think she's worth all that? My best friend? Well, better yet, let's go with destiny. This has to be my destiny to save her. I wouldn't be trapped in here if I didn't believe that. No kidding. Chloe trapped you with her drama. Guns, drugs, Rachel. She's just using you, dude. Like, she even asked you to end her life and do what she couldn't do by herself. Chloe does a better job of guilt tripping me than you do. Because you let her bully you. It's called Stockholm Syndrome. But you didn't do that homework, so you have to learn the hard way. Like Rachel. Just shut up. 
You're not scaring me anymore. I'd be more worried about Chloe killing us than Jefferson. Max, do you really think she's our friend? That she respects us in any way? This whole thing is so Man, fucked up. so stupid. <laughs> I'm embarrassed to have the same name. And someday Chloe will destroy... Oh, hell, speak of the devil. Dude, do not even fuck with her head. She knows what we went through together this week, and you don't. There's no way you can break up our team. This is reality. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. I am seriously glad to see you. Oh, wow. Welcome home, Max. Fasten your seatbelt. I, uh, know it was your birthday last month. This was my real father's camera. I want you to have it. A scene from chapter one, I believe it was. Of course it's cool. Thank you. This camera is so sweet. Now that we got that mushy shit out of the way, I feel like stage diving. Let's thrash this place. Yep, yep, I'm fucking insane in the brain. Let's dance. Shake that bony white ass. This song fucking rules. Can't dance, hippie? Come on. Rock out, girl. You were here today, Max. You saved me. I'm still tripping on that. Seeing you after all these years feels like... Destiny. If this is destiny, I hope we can find Rachel. I miss her, Max. What the hell is this? Let's talk about your superpower. Epic! I pledge allegiance to Max and the power for which she stands. Wow. You can rewind time, Max. That's fucking insane. We have to play. We're we're walking through memories. My home away from hell. Raw and rough. It suits you. Of Max and Chloe together. You know how awesome this is? You saved me again. Crazy. Now we're totally bonded for life. Since you're the mysterious, I'm so glad you're my partner in crime. As long as you're my partner in time. I might get on the other side of that. Max, you better come check out these files. It's not a drawing. Look. Rachel in the dark room. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. Cowabunga! This is seriously spooky. Why look? An otter in my water. Your power is changing everything, Max. Especially... Let's call it a draw. I'm gonna freeze my ass off when I get out. You look cute with your hair soaked in chemicals. Hide! Hide! Of course, that's the whole scene from chapter hog. three. I double dare you. Kiss me now. Damn. Under normal circumstances, that would be kind of a turn on. I can text Warren and tell him he doesn't stand a chance. Unless he's into girl and girl action. You are such a dork. That was the selfie they took together. The night after they broke into the... Blackwell Academy pool. Oh, we could cruise everywhere in this bad boy. Can you see us heading down the coast of Big Sur and beyond? I know. Just that was the scene where that makes me we feel that Rachel posed like this for Frank. Broke into Frank's RV. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to Which led up to the Why didn't she say anything? Chapter 3 finale. Because she knew how you would react. And she wasn't much of a friend, huh? Not until I see it first. You know the rules, Dad. Dude, I am so lucky that my father is cool. Max, you are being so fucking strange. That was the day William died. Chloe, I am... It's weird hanging out with you again. Max and alternate Chloe in the wheelchair. I'm glad we are, though. That's spooky as shit on its own, right? What you can do is treat me like a baby. Oh, awesome picture. We look so badass in our The night she spent with alternate Chloe. We should have taken over Arcadia Bay when we had the chance. With Chloe, you're back. I'm just... Kate wasn't the first. All those binders are filled with other victims. Other pictures? <sighs> Victoria has to be next. Rachel! No, Rachel, no, no! This is, of course, where we found out Rachel Amber had been killed. 
or more importantly, the location of her dead body. Come on, Max, we're almost there. And here we are at the lighthouse. Chloe literally carrying Max. Come on now. Don't worry. Don't worry. We'll be okay. Oh wow. Max. Max, can you hear me? Please say something, Chloe. I I must have passed out. Oh, thank Sorry. God. Don't you ever do that again, okay? I swear. But that nightmare was so real. It was so horrible. Man, this is incredibly sad. So I'm guessing this the big climax is... Horrible. is we're going to have to choose between saving Arcadia Bay or saving Chloe. All of this. I changed Faith's destiny so much that I actually did alter the course of everything. All I really created was just death and destruction. Fuck all of that, okay? You were given a power. You didn't ask for it. And you saved me, which had to happen. All of this did. Except for what happened to Rachel. But without your power, we wouldn't have found her. Okay, so you're not the goddamn Time Master, but you're Maxine Caulfield. And you're amazing. Max. This is the only way. I feel like I took the shot a thousand oh, years ago. I've called it. I fucking called it. I can go back in time. You, you could use that photo to change everything right back to when you took that picture. All that would take is for me to... If to Chloe dies, the town is saved. No. No way. You are my number one priority now. You are all that matters to me. I know. You prove that over and over again. Even though I don't deserve it. I'm so selfish. Not like my mom. Look what she had to give up and live through. And she did. She deserves so much more than to be killed by a storm in a fucking diner. Even my... My stepfather deserves her alive. There's so many more people in Arcadia Bay who should live. Way more than me. Don't say that. I won't trade you. You're not trading me. Maybe you've just been delaying my real destiny. Look at how many times I've almost died or actually died around you. Look at what's happened in Arcadia Bay ever since you first saved me. I know I've been selfish, but for once, I think I should accept my fate. Our fate. Chloe! Max, you finally came back to me this week, and you did nothing but show me your love and friendship. You made me smile and laugh like I haven't done in years. Wherever I end up after this, in whatever reality, all those moments between us were real, and they'll always be ours. No matter what you choose, I know you'll make the right decision. Chloe, I can't make this joy. I know you guys can't see me, but I'm sitting here with my head in my hands as this is playing out, out in the background, because... The hell? How do you... How do you do this, man? How do you pick between an entire town of people and your best friend? How do you... Ah, I can't fucking do it. I can't pick either one. Hold on. So basically... It seems apparent to me that the whole game was... Based around the butterfly effect theme of... The more you try to fuck with fate, the worse fate gets for you. Because now... 
in an attempt to get Chloe and correct itself like Final Destination films would go we're going to see uh, I don't know well in a more practical situation if we sacrificed Arcadia Bay Chloe would die anyway And I know my best friend is out there probably going to be watching this. And I'm sorry. Max. It's time. Chloe. I'm so, so sorry. I, I don't want to do this. I know, Max. But we have to. We have to save everybody. Okay? And you'll make those fuckers pay for what they did to Rachel. Being together this week, it was the best farewell gift I could have hoped for. You're my hero, Max. Oh, Chloe, I'm gonna miss you so much. I'll always love you. Now get out of here, please. Do it before I freak. I'm Max Caulfield. What have I done? Don't you forget about me. Never. Oh, I feel like such an asshole. I was going to say, please don't make me put in the button inputs. I don't think I can handle that right now. There it is, the butterfly photo from the beginning of the game. And now we wait for Chloe and Nathan to enter. It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress. You, you're okay, bro. Just come to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. <laughs> you're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. You don't know who the fuck I am, or who you're messing around with! Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do! I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs! Oh my Nobody god. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! I seriously feel like such an asshole. There's Chloe bleeding to death. Nathan freaking out where he obviously didn't want to kill Chloe. Much like he didn't want to kill Rachel Amber, and I don't think he even really wanted to be involved with Jefferson or his schemes either. But, wow, man. Nathan is arrested by David Madsen. The whole fight with Warren never takes place. Nathan's in prison. 
mostly now most of the game has never taken place Jefferson does get brought to justice Max at the White House. Max looking out over the sunset. The tornado is gone. Arcadia Bay is in one piece. But at the cost of Chloe Price. We're now going to the Blackwell Cemetery. Or, excuse me, Arcadia Bay Cemetery. There's Joyce, David, Principal Wells, Kate Marsh. We've got Warren behind him. Standing over. Always casket. Max and Warren standing side by side. You can't imagine what's going through Max's head right now. that in the okay Frank never died and there's Pompadour and the blue butterfly and Talk about a stab twist break. And we fade to black.
and we're gonna let the credits roll and holy hell what a game I don't think I told you guys the story but I picked this up before some drama I had happened play out in my local GameStop store and they were running I believe it was a buy three get one free sale I picked up three cheap games Rise Son of Rome I think it was Kingdom Hearts 1.5 for my PS3 and I think it was Red Dead Redemption I don't remember for sure but they were like you know you've got three games you can get one more free and I walked over to the shelf just browsing around I saw my copy of Life is Strange that we, we played through together now and on a whim I said I've heard a lot of stuff about this game online I'm a huge Square Enix fan because of the fact because of the Final Fantasy series especially let's give it a go so I picked it up I hadn't touched it till I started doing this let's play series and it was one of my co-workers at my you know run of the mill 9 to 5 day job that actually suggested that I do I not only play this but do the YouTube series on it and I'm ever great I'm forever grateful for her for suggesting it because it's been quite a thrill ride this is now once at the end of this episode this is going to be my first completed let's play series and I am truly glad it was this game definitely play it for yourself it's very very emotionally evolving and it's even better when you have the, the full soundtrack to it I played it you know of course I didn't have to worry about YouTube taking my uh, taking the music taking the license tracks out of it due to copyright issues and the music definitely definitely adds a lot to the atmosphere of the game and I honestly found myself getting seriously emotionally attached to every character in the game in some way you know I love Max's persona she's Max is the kind of girl I would date in a heartbeat if I got the chance Chloe reminds me so much of my, one of my best friends and that's why it was so hard for me to hit that X button was Chloe reminds me so much of my personal best friend Tara that it's unreal and then Warren who is in a nutshell what I'm actually like in my real life kind of dorky geeky into sci-fi which you'll see more of as you as we interact with each other on this channel when when it comes to the games I pick out I'm a huge sci-fi fan I love I love fantasy adventure stuff which is probably why I picked up Skyrim to run through for the channel as well yes that is the Skyrim remaster for PS4 that is going to be coming your way soon I don't know how soon because after this I'm going to sw after I post the final video for this, I'm going to be going into the Nathan Drake collection, which I might even start filming that in advance now that I've got this completely captured. And one thing I'm going to do too, I am going to release like a comprehensive review video for the game now that I've completed it. I feel like I owe it to you guys to give you give, give you a complete rundown of exactly what I'm thinking about the game and if possible I want to take the time and make like an achievement guide where I can show you where all the different photo ops are because obviously I didn't catch them all during this playthrough and some of you guys would probably appreciate being able to see hey this is where I go to get this this is where I go to do this good good I'm, I mean, I, me personally, I'm not the biggest fan of gamer score. I don't really get caught up in the, uh, uh, I gotta get more, I gotta get more achievements, I gotta get... Because I grew up in era, I grew up with gaming and 
up until the Xbox 360 came along, the achievement thing just didn't exist, so I never really formed an attachment to it. But it is cool to see the, the messages pop up. Hey, you got so many gamer score for doing this or seeing that. So, I'm going to try to do that. I don't know how it's going to work out because I'm in retail sales. We're going into the busy season, the busy season of the year. And, of course, I'm also wanting to do the Nathan Drake play Let's Play. And that's three different titles there. I've got Skyrim I want to do. And, of course, barring any copyright issues, Final Fantasy XV is less than a month off as the time I'm recording this. Above all else, though... I want to thank everybody who's managed, who took the time to like, comment, share, subscribe during the Life is Strange videos. You guys are awesome. I love you all. And as always, I want to thank you all for watching. We're going to stay tuned after the credits, though, because, you know, with all four previous episodes, there was always, like, some kind of clip at, at the end. So we're going to keep watching just to make sure that there's no surprises. Nothing we're going to miss out on. And I got to admit... No, and don't not entertainment. Thank you for, for the amazing effort you put into this game and the story. Wow, and 54% of people decided to sacrifice Chloe. I don't feel like such an ass now. This is a, this is going to be like an overview of the entire game. You can see the choices I made to get the plot or plot line I did. And that's the game, ladies and gentlemen. We lo I love you all, faithful followers. Stay tuned for more epic gameplay reviews and more here at Omega Rose Productions.